Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about, you know, this one thing that always happens about why I do what I do and I'm YouTube, on YouTube for. Really? Oh well, you ever think about, <sighs> my hair down like that. Oh, you ever think about being a YouTube mate? No, I do not. Well, I think you should. Well, I think I should not. Because there's way too many downsides to being a YouTube mate. One, you have more oversights to fall underneath. There's YouTube mateship oversight, YouTube boostering and showing oversight. Not on, not, and also the Google AdSense or AdWords oversight, you're now underneath. And that's not including you're still underneath the YouTube followership oversight, the YouTube Webstead oversight, and YouTube ownership law. Why don't they follow that for? And they don't really care that much about the mates. They don't really care that much about the non mates either. So why would I want to go through that? Then I'd be fully or then I'd be halfly answerable for income toll, Gaver Reich Oldemanier. So I want to go for all of that for. Well, I just thought, yeah, well, sometimes that's not my goal. It was never my goal to be a YouTube mate, and I don't care. That's one side of YouTube I will never, ever go with. You know? So, you got folks who choose to be YouTube mates for whatever ground, sake or why. That's their own business, you know? And they know going in that it's going to be fucked up. But they don't know how fucked up it is. You know? They're always shift. YouTube is always shifting the mateship oversight and the boostering and showing oversight because one of their bearers, Google, is always shifting the oversight. So it'd be like this. Well, we're shifting the oversight now. Why? Because Google chose to shift the oversight, so we got to shift the oversight. And then back when we told you you could have the over chat, and then we told you you could have the little live talk with a YouTube uh, hireling or Google hireling, well, it looks like that we shift the oversight, and instead of having 200 followers to get that, you got to have 300 followers. Oh, do I still keep the wire? Yeah, you still keep the wire. But, hey, we don't really answer the wire when folks work on it. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, and we're also shifting the oversight. You know, we're also shifting the oversight. Now you got to tell us every single thing it is or is not in your film while it's uploading and for laying. So we'll see if you're following the YouTube followership oversight and the YouTube uh, Webstead oversight. Yeah, and we'll also see if you're following the YouTube boostering over YouTube boostering and showing oversight and the YouTube mateship oversight. Or you can just take it away from me when you feel that I'm not meeting the over meeting all of it. Yeah. Well, why don't I go for that shit for? Oh, and on top of that, now, since we take out income toll for folks who, uh, for, uh, for YouTube mates too, but not as much as we did, but, but you're not going to get as much back from it as you would if you were a Google hireling, put that way, from Gaver, Wright, Earl of Manier, Ken, if you belong to one of those. Oh, that's fun. Do I want to go for all that shit too? Yeah, I really want to go for that shit. It's no fun for me. And just look at all the shit that one has to do if they're a YouTube mate. And I know a lot of YouTube mates out there like to run their, their YouTube fairway as a business. And for them, that's what they look at as. They, they, they see it as a business. And for them, well, that's good. If they see their YouTube website as a business web. YouTube fall YouTube fairway fairway as a business then great for them But that is never my goal. It was never my goal to have a business or make a business out of it 
You're never going to see me with over chat. You're never going to see me with a little uh, shirt, a little clothing shop or whatever website. You're never going to see that. You know, I'm never going to be fully or halfway answerable for Gavra Reich or the Manier Income Tool because I'm not making any gal from these films. You're never going to see no boosterings or showings on these films unless Google themselves puts it on there. But while I want to go for all that, go for all that oversight that's always shifting all the time. And then being fucked with too. Oh, now my films are being, now you're saying my films don't follow YouTube followership oversight when I say they do. And now you're saying they don't follow boostering and showing oversight. They don't follow, they don't follow YouTube mateship oversight. No, they don't. Yeah, well, fuck you, because you're always shifting the, <clears throat> always shifting the oversight. You're always telling everyone they're doing wrong. You never tell them when they're doing right. You're unhelpful. When I get someone on live talk, you just, you just, you, you, you basically just shame me the whole time I'm on there. <clears throat> so wire, you don't even talk on the, you don't, even, you don't even answer the wire anyway. I go feedback, that's the only way I get an answer, only way I get things done for you. So no, I'm not going to go for a little YouTube <coughs> mateship oversight. Sorry, ain't happening. Never going to happen. So, never going to be a YouTube mate. That's never going to be my goal. I know some folks say never say never, but that's one never that I'm always going to say never to. So that's it. If you like this film, follow me over here at Jordan Long Show. <clears throat> Watch the last film I made yesterday over here when I talked about how I don't like going to Kennywood. Or I don't like Kennywood Fun Fair. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later. Bye.